that we have the VS code is very good comparatively the notepad but still in VS code there are some disadvantages are available you know what if I want to write here some kind of images I want to show to the user like this Jupyter image I want to show it can I show in the VS code no if I want to show some video I want to embed in the uh, VS code can I do that no if I want to show some kind of mathematical equation I want to write it like a plus b whole square is equal to only let us say that also not possible and it is a windows based tool using like this url i cannot open this one in the browser itself i cannot work in that one that is a windows based ide i am looking for two words can i write some place code as well as some images videos embedding something like that if yes that's what we are saying as jupyter lab what is that jupyter lab this also already installed in our mission if you go to the same anaconda navigator same anaconda navigator there is a jupyter lab we have it jupyter lab is a collection of jupyter notebooks what is jupyter lab jupyter lab is a collection of jupyter notebooks only one notebook you want to work on it you can click on the launch and you can work with the only one jupyter notebook but it's all jupyter notebooks you want to organize in a proper way then better to go with the jupyter lab i recommend to go with the jupyter lab how to go for it is click on your launch of course for you first time we are opening you may see install button click on the install within one minute it is going to complete the installation then you have to click on here launch once you click on the launch once you click on the launch we are going to get one browser window in that browser window in that browser window you will see our jupyter notebooks are going to see it shortly we are going to get here one browser now this is a browser window or not it's a browser window and in this browser window it's still yeah it's opening now this is how jupyter lab will be opens it may take first time we are opening means couple of minutes it is going to take it once it is opened it will be a bit faster this is how it whatever i am using even jupyter lab only i am using it this is taking some time right meanwhile i can go and i can show this this is what the jupyter lab environment if i want to write here some code how we can write it if you click on here there is a options are available first one is known as file browser option if i want to create here some new one let us go for back to the initial location here you can click on this folder so that will come to the uh, beginning of the folders there i am trying to create here some new notebook i want it click on here new launcher then you can see what you are opening notebook so using jupyter lab we are opening what notebook jupyter notebook are preparing it you can click on here then we are going to get jupyter notebook we are going to get here Wow, beautiful. Now we are able to see Jupyter Notebook, we are seeing it. I am closing this one. There is a folder again. If you click on that, that window will be closed. Now this is how the window will be looks like Jupyter Lab window. Here you can notice right side corner. What is this one? Python window. And what you are writing here? Code we are writing. Which code we are writing? Python code we are writing it. Let me write here Python code. Let us say print even here also three letters i written rest of the letters i don't know then you can press here tab you can press here tab you are able to see the rest of the letters we are able to see it we are able to see the rest of the letters or not we are able to see it select that one print whatever available then put here bracket then you can write here hello old you can write it 
Then once your typing is completed, there is a run button. You can click on the run. It will be executed for you. That's simple. It is writing the program here. Compared to VS Code, it is, looks like much easier, right? In the VS Code, all the black screen, it's a bit of scaring you people. But this is line by line, cell is available. It looks like somewhat better. Even my 60% of the time, I will be using this one. Okay, when to go for now, VS Code ID, when to go for now, Jupyter is, if your job role is more to do with the presentation, I recommend to go with the only Jupyter Notebooks. Your job role is not to do anything with the presentation, keep on writing the code only, then better to go with the VS Code. But as a data scientist, mostly your job will be having mix of the things. You have to write the code, you have to present the things to the business, you have to get the updates, this is how it happens. In my company, at least me, if I take it, I'm never going to use VS Code. I will be using always Jupyter Lab only. Always I will be using Jupyter Lab only, I am using it. Everything I will do through the Jupyter Lab only, I will be doing it. So. I do recommend you people to make your hands a bit easier with the VS Code practice as well as Jupyter, Loop, Jupyter Lab practice so that if you want to write the code, uh, only code you want to write it, nothing else, you can use VS Code. Code as well as presentation also as part of your job role, then go with the Jupyter Lab. Okay. Now in the Jupyter Lab, suppose I want to write here some comment I want to write it. Some comment I want to write it. It is our first class. Something like this I written. This is a pure Python comment. I can write here comment as this is executed, right? Actually, the moment it sees this hash symbol, it is a Python comment. It's a Python comment. This can be written wherever you want it. I mean to say, even the VS code also same. This is a Python comment. It's a Python comment. If you go for here, for example, I have here. Sorry, where is that? Hello, hold. Okay. Here we have it. Before this one, I return, let us say, like this. Then if I save it, if I try to run this one, if I try to run this one, what will happen? Will I get the three outcomes or two outcomes? Only two. Why this middle one is not came? Because I commented. I commented. So in Python, if you want to comment, very easily you can comment it. We have to provide here hash in front of this one. Next two. One more thing is there is a concept of markdown language available. What is that? Markdown language. What is this markdown language? We'll try to see in the next uh, class. Okay. Thank you. Please practice today how to write the code using notepad, how to write the code using VS code, how to write the code using Jupyter lab. And you have to complete today Anaconda installation. You have to complete notepad plus plus installation. This all is your homework. Okay. Without fail, complete that one. We'll start next session tomorrow. Thank you.